everyone. Hope you're all doing well. And welcome to the Love in Time Talk from the Heart. Body language is very important in communication. You know that and I know that as well. In fact, a lot of research has been done on the subject. The researchers, the trainers, the scientists have come with various figures. And there's always a debate about how important is this, what is the percentage that, uh, you know, the role that body language plays in communication. The underlying fact, however, is body language is important in communication. To understand more about this topic, we have in our studios a body language expert. She is also a TEDx speaker. In fact, she has trained and studied this topic, this subject, in various countries like Spain, the United States, and Malaysia. She has trained the police force, the aviation industry, and even some government sectors. Of course, corporates are there as well. Our guest today is Kanan Tali, and most important, I have to say, is Kanan is the first Indian uh, micro expression micro, micro expression expressions uh, trainer and decoder. It is my pleasure to in, you know um, greet her and to welcome her and to also let you know that Kanan has been with us and done a, a workshop for us about three four years. Ago. Yes, yes. Kanan, thank you so much for coming on our show and welcome. Thank you so much for inviting Maria. You're looking very pretty as usual and. Uh, Let's. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm so <laughs> stunned. I can't even talk. <laughs> Seriously, yes. No. So every time I look at you, I feel that what can I learn more from you because oh you're very goodness. expressive. Okay. So yeah, that's one thing to learn from you. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm sure your students will be having much more <laughs> list than that. Uh, well, so yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, can yeah. I? I mean, you know, we normally say body language is something that is. Uh, not very easy to understand. You can't interpret body language because there are so many complexities to it. You are young, you're lovely looking, <laughs> and you're so talented. How did you get into body language? I mean, tell us a little bit about your journey. Uh, okay, so just before when uh, we were starting this, we were having this chit chat, right? So my father was uh, in central government and he traveled to a lot of places and by default his family like us, we also traveled and every new state that we visited, we came across this new culture and new kind of people, their behavior. So that kind of made us feel that, oh, this Rajasthan is different from Jharkhand. Oh, Jharkhand is different from Chhattisgarh. Oh, Chhattisgarh is different from Madhya Pradesh. So we kept on receiving those differences in our life. Right. So and we also developed this thing. I and my brother, uh, we studied in Kendra Vidyalaya. So Kendra Vidyalaya has people coming from all over uh, India. So all the state and central government people, students, they uh, children, they study there. So we connected with different culture right from the childhood. So what I feel is when you learn something right from your childhood, the learning is much faster than the other people. And then the other thing is I was always into extracurricular activities, never a very good student academically, but uh, extracurricular activities I was always good at. That helped me connect with a lot of people, right? And when I went to Delhi for my further studies, I stumbled upon this thing called as tarot reading. And under tarot reading, my mentor told me that, you know, you need to learn the body language of the clients. I said, what is body language? Then she said, no, no, from body language, you can learn a lot. And then you can interpret what the client wants and tell your answers according to that. So I said, if if you have to do that, then why do we need to learn body language, uh, tarot reading then? So that was the first time, I think 2008, I learned the concept of body language. But I think that's a very valid question, isn't it? Yes. I mean, why not tarot reading when you can just do body language and tell the other person what they want to hear? Correct, correct. Because, you know, uh, what uh, most people would want to hear what they want to hear. They do not want to hear the truth. And most of the fake fortune tellers use that. Uh, so then I left on the tarot reading. I thought that body language is, has a science, 
you know you, you learn more and i wanted to learn more and more on that and then i pursued my uh, mba into that i did communication management thinking that probably it will relate to that it was not so symbiosis mba was good but regarding body language nothing mm. and then i started my own firm in 2015 thinking that okay now i learned a lot of courses this is the time to apply and uh, another thing what i faced at that point of time is there are so many courses which are available online uh, sometimes offline also but in india you will not find a legitimate course right all the courses or the trainers are outside india so they have us trainers they have uk trainers but what about india we are a very diverse country if you go and meet a person from himachal and you if you go and meet a person from telangana their body language will be very different True. so i thought why not develop a course which will help people our people indian people to understand body language in much better way not just copy pasting it from the us or the uk so that's how i started this journey and but you said that you know you developed this um, course yes. to teach people the general yes. uh, guidelines yes. of body language to teach them that but in, would you say that body language is universal that what applies in the united states will apply in malaysia and spain those are the places where you yes, study yes, yes. and india would all uh, four places have the same Um, guidelines where body language is concerned um oh, absolutely not they are very different from uh, each of the countries what matters or what is same is the emotions that we feel for example a a person from philippines will feel happiness and will smile and a person from let's say sudan a country like sudan in africa he will when he feels happiness he will smile so the expression especially the seven emotions that we have that expressions are universal global we can say so those expressions can be felt everywhere and in the same fashion but about the gestures the body language for example i'll just take a little bit of liberty here uh, and i'll ask you a question when i tell you hey maria i have to go what right. comes into your mind when i say this washroom yes but or, if or or yeah or if you say go then i know it's that yes. otherwise you know when we were the kids yes katti to katti i'll not talk ah. to you right ah. so this is very cultural and i i faced this problem when i was training in malaysia right and my trainer was uh, german so i told him that hey i just need to go i totally forgot i am not in india right i can imagine yeah so he asked me go where and i said go he said go where i said i have to go to the washroom so i said yeah but what is this and then i realized okay okay how will they understand yeah. so only the facial expressions is very much global but, but gestures the are gestures different. are different different from countries to countries so culture does play a very very important role in body language yes 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 definitely so does that also apply to within india so uh, is the body language <coughs> like you said it is it is different but yeah. can you give us examples um you know maybe even within now you if you if i'm not mistaken you did mention you're from uh, odisha the, odisha so within odisha also do you find differences yeah yeah i'll give you a beautiful example for example um here in goa if, if you go there if you order in a beach shack or everywhere we say something and we immediately do thumbs up right hey okay okay you know we are good we are fine so i and my friend we happened to visit to kolkata right and we were eating pani puris there so one golgappes uh, golgappes ha there they call it puchka you know different think, names oh yeah goodness, okay. yes so we ate first and this guy says that uh, the uh, pani puri wala says that sir theek hai kya is it okay hey right? so this guy uh, my friend he does not say anything because you know we are from goa now so we just say that okay so he signals that no it's okay so this guy takes an offense to that saying that sir aap thenga kya dikha rahe nahi acha laga to bolo so we we like it when you stay at one place you just totally forget that by this or this or you know this they keep on changing right for example another thing if you uh, talk to a person from southern india right if you watch movies like there are south you know set max channel all the time the dubbed movies are there mm -hmm. so every time when you see a person when they are like little bit of aggressive or they are talking to you hey why did you do that right so probably when i tell you that i'll say why did you do that 
but they say why did you do that right so they say like this mm -hmm. right okay. now that's a gesture but if you turn that and if you do that in the up that's a very obscene gesture yes. right it's equal equivalent to what the middle figure yes. signifies yes. right if you do that in the northern part that was it means so within our country there are so much of uh, differences in the culture or how you behave with your hands and well fingers mm -hmm. you know so there are these differences which i thought that you know i should probably make people aware that the hand gestures or the finger gestures are very very important how are we using it even the facial expressions i, I mean and those equally important ah there, there are e uh, equally important another thank you so much for bringing that up here uh, in goa winking is considered casual yes right for example if i'm talking to you or even if it's an opposite gender right so if i'm smiling at somebody and if i wink so that is considered as casual uh, or platonic but if you do that in the eastern part of india you are a person full of you know lust or something you know it's very obscene there that means you want to get a woman onto your bed or something it's that bad so when you're and a winking. woman i'm sure cannot do that yes obviously then then there's we have character analysis for that then yes. so <laughs> so these uh, the facial expressions are different now if let's say i tell you something right and you find it amusing you are smiling so we have different kind of smiles also so there are 15 kind of smiles what kind of smile a person is uh, flashing and what is the meaning of that you can understand so if i you know we we watch that kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahut hi kind of serials right so if a woman says that aaj main tumhe dekh lungi you know that means that you know contempt mm -hmm. that i am feeling superior right now right so these are the different variation in facial expressions you know knowing that you're going to come on my show yeah I actually couldn't sleep last night thinking oh my goodness I hope my body language is going to be actually very correct and proper and Kanan doesn't read uh, anything wrong into it and also I'm on air I mean I don't even realize that I'm just myself and sometimes I'm like oh I hope I'm not said something or I've not done anything all those who are watching uh, if I've said something or if I've done something it's not good do forgive me but yes coming back to you Kanan um we all as i said we know the importance of it but can you uh, give us a you know five reasons hmm. that body language is important like where in which areas would you say building relationships i know yep okay so i'll share both of the uh, sides personal and professional uh okay okay somebody is writing something so glad i haven't traveled outside my state based on this i'd be in so much of trouble no devans you do not have to be in trouble just you know smile and control your hands if you are moving your hands a lot so now the thing is uh, when we talk about personal and professional relationships the first reason to know or the importance of body language is we need to be more natural the one reason that you're very successful miss fernandez is very successful is she does not fake people you know people hate you also you know people love you also but you do not change yourself the moment we change your uh, we change ourselves that's the time when our body language is affected so the first and foremost Im uh, important thing for body language is uh, okay india okay, so you, you know i mean she is kanan is becoming like an advertisement for i love my india savio <laughs> savio savio pace says india is so diverse and i need to travel more yes. and learn more uh, savio definitely i'm sure and uh, kanan and I, um, i would love to accompany you if there is place in your car to traveling but yes i do agree with you savio and you know each state like kanan has said and within each state there is so much to learn and body language is something that is so vast am i right kanan yes absolutely that every day you think you know but we do not really not know. yes 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 you know i'll give you a very good example sure. um i'm not going to take the name of this stand up comedian and uh, this uh the stand up comedian i remember you know spoke about indians and and the indians having this sideways nod and i'm thinking to myself are you kidding me <laughs> like please we do not do that and then recently i saw a recording of my talk show and i realized i'm doing it all the time and i'm like oh my goodness me we actually do that 
But I, I, I'm. Uh, have you noticed that we yes. do it? Yes. In yes. Fact, if I remember right, you had said earlier on that uh, you s wrote a small article, right, about uh, uh, Mark Mark Borden. Mark Borden's book, book, yes. And you spoke about the head nod. Yes. Right. Yes. Guys, this is very interesting. You, we, you need to hear what Kanan has to say. Yes, Kanan, please tell us a lot about it. Okay. So uh, when I met uh, Mark. Uh, Mark Borden is, by the way, a very, uh, he's the expert in body language. The people, expert. The expert yes. in body language. Yes. And uh, he talks about uh, how to use it personally, professionally to your maximum benefit. So when I met him here in Goa, he was here in Goa. Right, oh, you do not even have to go out of you your own there. state, right? Yes. So he said that okay, you I've uh, read articles about you, I've uh, saw, uh, seen your TEDx also, and uh, can you please write a piece? for me in my book he was writing a book called as truth and lies it's an amazing book so i said yeah why not and what do you want me to write on so he said if you can write a piece on indian head wobble that's what they say it outside india indian head wobble okay to me it's very uh, you know it's very uh, embarrassing or very disturbing so when they say indian head wobble that means you know you have seen those dolls Yes, that the head keeps on yes yes they the keep on moving yes the, yes that's goes, that's wobble just touch it a bit. Yes. yes so i said okay fine i'll do that but then i thought okay fine this is a person who's from outside india he knows about indian head wobble but why not i study it actually and i give him a picture that why has it come up or what is the reason what are the states it's not the entire indian gesture it's probably within few states of india right so it starts from the southern part of maharashtra right and it goes towards the southern states and uh, probably and on the eastern side it starts from the telangana side so, right? so is it only indian yes yes it's it's very much indian i would not say that it's south indian or something like everything is indian like north in the south everything is indian, indian. but uh, it's very much predominantly in few states of india we have 29 states out of 29 only six states have this just a moment uh, <laughs> one moment savio you you are a funny guy okay uh, savio says um, he is naming yes, that comment yes we do the head nod and it's it's funny if only we <laughs> pay more attention to it uh, savio like i said i do it on air can you believe that i do it on air <laughs> And I always prided myself thinking, oh my goodness, you know, I'm Miss Hoity Toity and I don't do that. And then I realized, Indian, I do it. But I'm not embarrassed. Yeah. I just think it's so natural. It comes. Yes. yes. But if someone tells me to do it, I'm going to t actually take time to get this done. Yes, yes. You cannot do it consciously. No, you That's the problem it. of it. It's very subconscious. And uh, some people say that it's probably a yes and you know people from North India say that you know it's a yes or a no we do not know it's not a yes it's not a no it's an okay gesture actually yes it's so it's an okay, okay gesture okay. true so true. when somebody says something and the more okay it is the more <laughs> head wobble you will be doing right and the less and then there are variation of that so the more rural southern India uh, states you visit the more head wobble you will be seeing the more urban it is, the mo less movement is there. So, what I developed the theory, it's a theory. Uh, so, okay. No, well, you continue okay, speaking yeah, and sure. then we will go to sure. Lawrence and Lucky. So, yes. when uh, what I realized is uh, in we have this classical dances, right? Bharatnatyam, Kuchipudi, uh, Mohiniattam, uh, Odissi dance. So, very classical dance uh, when you move your hands and all. So one classical dance on the north side is Kathak, right? Now if you uh, know a little bit about Kathak dance, there is no neck movement, only the hand move and only the feet moves mm -hmm. there in Kathak. Mm -hmm. So body is very stiff, so only the hand moves. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, Mohini, Attam, Bharatnatyam, Kathak Ali, Odissi, there the neck movement mm -hmm. is there. So people look at this and then they do all of that and then the eyebrow movement is also there. So one thing what I realized is when it is there in your culture, so people are learning to dance and the neck movement, it's called griva movement something, right? Neck is griva in Sanskrit. So when you do that and that time you were dancing and talking or whatever, so it kind of uh, is there in the, uh, in the system, right? So when you're dancing and you, it doesn't matter you're a male or a female, right? So when you're dancing and you're telling somebody, hey, move your neck like this. So if you try to move the neck like this, 
some people who cannot move their neck like this they will end up doing the head wobble I right. think I think I am that an example because <laughs> I remember once I was I saw a dance on TV yes. and I was trying to do it and it was like oh goodness where's a tiger bomb <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally was like that okay so we are getting back to Lawrence Sandana enjoying the show very informative thanks Lawrence thank you so much and we have Lucky Blaze Lucky is that seriously your name Lucky Blaze no. wow with reference to winking how body language can be used for women safety like nowadays it's, is it possible can i find out by or identify by body language you know lucky i'm so confused by your question now hmm. you are talking about women safety and you said do i find out uh, about body language i mean why because if that woman is winking i i I'm, i'm not very clear uh i think what she needs to uh, ask is can i find out from a person's body language if that person is safe for a woman like probably if i am a woman and somebody is winking or there is a man from his body language can i gauge if i'm safe or not that's probably that's what she wants to know i don't know if it's a she or a he but um lucky i hope that's what your question was about if not uh, if you could simplify your question definitely Uh, Meena Satpathy says a very good discussion. People need to pay attention to, to their body language while socializing. Meena, uh, one, it means you're paying attention to our show, so she needs to get a prize. And secondly, <laughs> it means you socialize a lot, which sadly I don't do. I wish, uh, Meena, I'm hoping to meet you soon so we can socialize. Yes, uh, Meena, I do agree with you because we have heard of so many. you know bad incidents happen especially with women when they are socializing right right their body language is interpreted you know in the wrong manner and it leads to a lot of problems yeah and i yeah yes sorry i have a point to add just yes. just to that so when you were socializing especially we'll just consider or uh, it to be a very uh, binary society a man and a woman we are mm -hmm. not talking about the other right, identities so, yeah mm -hmm. so let's say that if there is a woman and who's socializing and there's this opposite opposite gender person like a man is there mm -hmm. so first of all we need to take care of the distance that we are following we anyway have social distancing now mm -hmm. but there are certain people who are not following okay fine so we need to understand the distance in india the intimate distance is something which is very uh, less right for example if i am from outside of india probably this will be my intimate distance with you i can be friends with you in this but here people kind of sit on their lap also the other people hey you know we are chill we are buddies yes. so when you are socializing with someone the distance matters second thing the eye contact matters so i'm very sure being a woman and i do not regret to say this you must have experienced this when a person looks at you they look at there also they do yeah so that is called as intimate gaze and a woman knows this but i think it's generally the you know the way if men are looking at a woman they are right. appreciating a right. woman right. they do give her the you know once over right, right. right yes and some do yes there are certain you know body parts that they would focus on they correct. would stare at correct correct that makes it uncomfortable yes yes so socializing is not a problem but let's say like how you mentioned there's a pretty woman like you who's standing and i am a man so i'll probably take one glance or two by looking at oh, what you're wearing or oh, nice shoes and you know nice earrings and everything but if it happens continuously right then that makes you feel uncomfortable and that even if that person is not really capable of doing anything or probably assault or molestation anything but the way you make a person feel uncomfortable i'll say person both the genders right so the way you look at someone then also a person becomes uncomfortable so it becomes very uh, important for us to know body language to know that when a person is becoming uncomfortable but don't you think we the men women please listen up i think this is really important because i think as a woman you know i think we have this innate uh, trait in us and we can yep. say like this when yep. when someone is not looking at us right i've had this and she's given me so many compliments i am want to hug her but social distancing <laughs> so i'm not going to do it but i've had and i'm sure you guys have had women you know i've had this problem where people stare at you and immediately even across the room someone staring at you and i have felt it i am of course a little different from everyone <laughs> because when someone stares at me i stay back or i go and say yes may i help you yes 
So I'm not saying I'm not telling you to please do that, but I'm just saying this is how I normally de deal with it. And uh, it's up to every every woman, you know, how how they portray themselves. Yeah, well. I'll I'll just want to share one more very personal incident. Probably uh, there are men and women who are looking at us can probably benefit from that. Um, so a couple of years back, I had to travel to Mumbai. Now, from Goa to Mumbai, I do not travel on train. That was the first and probably the last time. <laughs> Born there, brought up there, no train. <laughs> so, I took a train from here. Now, my ticket had a spelling mistake on that, mm -hmm. right? So, I went to the TT to tell him that, you know, there's this mistake. What do you want me to do? Like, if you want to fine or something, what what is it? So, he looked at me like two full glances mm -hmm. top to bottom and then he he said he, he like i look at the camera and tell so that people can also right. say so he looked at it and he looked at me up and down and they say seat pe chalo seat pe okay and by that obviously anybody would say that okay that's not something which for a government servant will do right so i kind of got scared and i was traveling alone in train for the first time right so i i went and i sat and then i had my dinner and then I thought that I'll quickly wrap up everything and I'll sleep. Like I'll put the curtains, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But when I went to the washroom and I was coming back, it was 10.30ish, right? And people started switching off the light of the boggy. And then this person crosses me. And the then same guy. The same TT. And then he says, uh, seat pe milega, me raat ko aega. Okay? So he said that and obviously it is very disturbing for me. Uh, and I could not sleep, right? Now what will happen? What was the... And it's a government servant right so i so i thought that okay fine let me just be prepared no like i'll not like punch or anything but i'll at least be prepared so i'll pull myself up like all the uh, sheets that i had and i was waiting for him to come and it was around 12 30 ish right so he came and he nudged me by removing the curtains right because i was covered so he nudged me and he had removed his coat there was no name tag and he nudged me and uh, i said I, I know that it is him because I am wide awake, right? I was waiting for him to you come. You must have been terrified. Yes, yes. So, I said, so I, what I did is I created a scene. I said, Kone, Kone, Bajao, Bajao, Kone. Right? So, so he, he felt scared, right? And tick, 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 they were switched on, lights nice were on one, and yes. on. Uh, he ran off, right? And then he said, Are, I am, 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 I Right, then people started looking what happened, what happened and all that. After that, he did not come. But with that one gesture, what he did, like, okay, seat me chalo, with that I realized something bad is about to happen. So, very important for us to understand that, you know, something like this can be happening. So, you can always save yourself from such a certain accidents, you know. But then again, uh, from the little bit of reading that I have done, uh, maybe I'm wrong, correct me yes, if I'm wrong. Yes, yes, yes. That... Um, body language depends on each situation yes i mean what is you know what makes you stand and and get all protective about yourself uh, a body uh, you know gesture or, or a facial expression mm. may not you know make you react in the same way right in another situation absolutely absolutely yeah? you're absolutely right and you can create a scene where there are people when you are alone now you know it's very unfortunate that we have incidents like that you know a woman you know things like that happen i do not want to bring those uh, incidents up but i when i whenever i see something like this i read in detail and i think what could have been done to avoid that situation right so you always get this telltale signals mm -hmm. if you are alone run for your life then you do not shout or you do not scream or anything you hide or you know uh, this is from one of the training that you know you you cooperate that's one of the worst thing but then you cooperate at least you save your life right but other thing if somebody has come to you know give your take like give me your wallet what will you do you're alone you cannot see hey hey help help probably you get stabbed you cooperate hai, you know take this wallet do not do anything to me right so different like how you uh, said different ex uh, incidents have different uh, circumstances right so if i see something here and i am surrounded with people i can probably create a scene so that i can attract more people and this person will get embarrassed right but if i'm alone 
इट्स बेटर दैट यू कॉपरेट ठीक है यू नो टेक माई वॉलेट सो दिस इज कमिंग बैक टू माई अर्लियर क्वेश्चन स्पीकिंग अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ऑफ बॉडी लैंग्वेज देर आर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कमिंग अप आई विल गेट बैक टू दोज क्वेश्चन बट आई जस्ट नीड टू आस्क अन सो वी स्पोक अबाउट बिल्डिंग रिलेशनशिप वी स्पोक अबाउट जस्ट नाउ यू स्पोक अबाउट दैट बॉडी लैंग्वेज हेल्प्स यू टू डिटेक्ट करेक्ट if there is some danger somewhere right right, right right but then also the fact still stays that the body language that you see in one situation doesn't always mean the same thing in another situation in, in a different environment so please take note of that and i will get to saloni parab saloni parab is in the legal profession because she is asking is body language beneficial in the legal profession i think it is beneficial yes everywhere. yes yes 100% uh, for legal profession yes um, in if you are in the legal business then there are certain people who come to you who are honest there will be few people who will be dishonest so it's for for you it's very important if you conduct yourself ethically what kind of clients are you taking and you know to doctors and lawyers you should not be lying is what people say right so when you are knowing that somebody is not sharing something you want to take the information out now there there are two ways of discussing right once uh, for example you have uh, i have to share something right i have come to you if and i have done something wrong so if you direct your conversation towards guilt then i will probably share if you direct the conversation towards shame then i'll be shameful so i will not share right so for a legal profession it's very important that a person if it is i'm considering it's probably related to criminal thing so if you want to make somebody open up they have to know that you are really really open and non judgmental and to say that or to make them feel that you have to give that uh, you know vibes verbal or non verbal cues that you are trustworthy so very important for legal profession so saloni um i hope that has answered your question and yes i think um, you know great if we can uh, um all learn body language the do's and the don'ts uh, we have uh, agnes montero who says uh, very informative thanks agnes and we also have lakshmi oh Priya. that's my mother <laughs> That's okay. my mom. <laughs> okay, Lakshmi Priya Tandi, you must be so proud of your daughter. <laughs> I would be. Um, with this discussion, we came to know new things. I'm sure you you have told your mom. Please send a question. Okay? No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> just kidding. Huh? But yes, uh, Kanan, we are learning so much. Not just me, but even the um, the viewers. There, you know, so many different messages coming up. And uh, I, we let's get back to the importance. So. um building relationships body language helps keeping you know reading if you are in danger Correct. body language helps yes can you name another two or three uh yes uh for example who to connect with that there also body language helps for example we used to go to a lot of conferences now it's not happening probably it will happen in future Net- networking it's events it's right? right so by looking at somebody uh, how do you connect to them so that is also very important right for business for business because once you go and you connect to somebody it's very important that they also like you back so the likability factor is important when people see you for the first time or even we see somebody first time there are five things that we judge them on very subconscious very non verbal so it's aggressiveness it's competence uh, it's trustworthiness it's likability and it's uh, the warmth the warmth of the talk so these are the five things and we judge it within 8 to 10 seconds right so even if you see me talking to somebody else for 10 seconds you will judge me on this five criteria by default right so there are certain people who we like just after meeting them there are certain people who we do not like just after meeting them because we judge them on these things so to connect to somebody business wise or you know professionally it's very very important to know body language your own body language and then to read others also and uh, one more thing which i feel it's important is to know who can be a friend to you when i say friend it should be a well wisher right because there are a lot of friends who kind of claim that hey no i'll pray for you or you know i'll do this for you oh god i think about you every day but how many of them actually do that right so that's that's also very important and the last point is to know about somebody's mental health right people don't talk about it 
the uh, the common the most common lie of the world is i am fine right how are you i'm fine ha uh, my you know i'm going through a very bad time i have lost my job my kids is not listening to me but i'm fine right so when somebody says i'm fine and if you're actually concerned that i am fine will help you identifying where the person is in the mental level right so that's very important and right now with all the mental issues yes. especially with the pandemic and yes. you know being locked down in your home not moving out Correct. and it is very difficult yes. so yes, yes it's important for people around family members to, yes. to pick up on the body language of uh, right. of their of their friends and family right yes uh, should we go to uh they they vanish they vanish chandra i think they vanish you they vanish if i'm not mistaken you have come to one of not one i think you've come for many of navin times workshops so if you're the same they vanish hi they vanish and i uh, like i know there's so much i don't know <laughs> are you an english professor all right i have traveled 15 countries and i've gone deep in uh, studying my field i like the approach that i don't know stuff but i feel it is interpreted as having a weak body language in the kind of interaction i have with people i'm exhausted devansh but i'm going to continue with what you <laughs> just said <laughs> obviously i am going to miss somewhere any guidance devansh if you are the same devansh i've met i don't think you give that impression from the little that i've known you know about you while interacting with you you don't in fact you you are quiet yes I hope you are the same they want show I'm making a fool of myself. <laughs> All right. So um I think basically what he's saying he's a very quiet sort of a person the right. type of personality he right. is is you know doesn't talk uh, too much but um but there are so many people like that. In fact I was like that when I was in school. I know you want I w- yeah I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you see what happened was I was nice and tagdi and moti like in you know it's in in where i lived in bombay everyone used to call me jaldi and moti and i i had a major complex and that was another reason that uh, you know i was always shy i didn't want right. to talk right. i always felt inter- you know intimidated by people and i'm sure there are people out there uh, you know who feel the same way i want to take this opportunity to tell all of you don't bother <laughs> you can be fat you can be thin it doesn't matter what uh, what really really matters according to me I, i'm 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 preaching i know but is that do something with yourself become something and i'm sure people what names people keep for you really don't matter am i right uh, yes yes Kanan? yes uh, for example how uh, devansh asked this question that he might be interpreted as somebody who has less knowledge it's only because he is silent right or probably is a silent observer or probably he feels that if i will speak i will not learn if i don't speak i will learn probably something which is totally fine if somebody is uh, gauging him as a person who has less information that's their loss a b uh, he wherever he is it's totally fine and totally cool because when a person has 15 countries is a big number mm-hmm. right it's a big big number i know the ranch wow yes amazing so if i go to uh, if i go to even two or three countries i've seen people bragging about that right probably he wants to keep it very low wants to be very modest i think it's totally fine you know just ha- the way you are is the best way it should be and if you feel you are being interpreted as uh, you know somebody who has less information i think it's totally fine just just be there because once you start telling more about what are the countries you have visited people will start taking you the opposite oh you know what he brags about it all the time or all, all of that you know yes. so i think it's totally fine the way he is and he right and, and like i said you know me you shouldn't let people uh, dictate how how you should uh, be or behave I just think that each one of us knows you know we have innate uh, talent within us to know exactly what it is that's good and bad and uh, so Savio Pace Savio you have become one of my favorite viewers okay I I I mean it I swear to god Savio says even before the mouth begins to talk don't you think the body 
has already given out certain signals yeah that's a very nice question uh, so there are by the way there are differences of opinions in researchers some people say that the voice or the interaction is important and some people say only body language is important right only whatever you see um, and there's this thing called as you know light travels faster than the sound so whatever you see that is that becomes more important than what you hear so yes uh, in certain way it does give out more information for example if i uh, is I, i'm talking to maria and somebody is telling me hey kanan how are you i said you know what uh, just a little bit please and then say oh god this person will, you know i make all the faces so somebody who's watching me from a different angle i want to laugh so much <laughs> <laughs> because that face was so hilarious <laughs> no but kanan i think i do that very often <laughs> I mean, I smile at someone, and I'm like, oh, who is that? I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> yes, we all do it. Yes, so yes. Please continue. So, a third person watching this will perceive as, oh my God, that person is so fake. and i've seen this okay one time i was traveling somewhere i do not remember where but there was this woman who looked very pish posh you know she was sitting like this in the aircraft chair that is economy class <laughs> uh, but she was sitting like this okay. right and then she said okay word okay okay so throughout the time her eyebrows were like this right then she uh, uh, you know use that bell and the air hostess come and immediately she becomes like this ah uh, actually you know can you please give me a blanket So I, and I was sitting right there. What happened? I mean, come on, you smiling, just smile normally. What is this and then this? It's very fake. So how people are are saying that you know uh, it should be very natural, right? Like how you carry yourself, like right? uh, and you know there's this general thing. If you do not have haters, that means you're doing something wrong. <laughs> So you should be having if, some and, haters. And if you have haters, you're still doing something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so then we come back to the same point as I said to Devan. It really doesn't matter what's important is what you do about you know of yourself, what you make of yourself, and what you think about yourself. You are important. And yes, you can please people, but then only to a certain extent. You can't uh, you know please someone. In fact, uh, some time ago. Uh, I hope my boss is listening because she had said to me once. <laughs> okay. You know, I was upset about something, and she said to me, you know, she said, Maria, you cannot please everyone all the time. Right. And I'm so grateful to her for saying that because that has helped me. It helped me overcome that that little incident. You know, and I think it makes it. There's a lot of wisdom in that. Right. Right. You can't, you know, please everyone mm. all the time. Mm. So, can I? I mean. Um, is it possible for us to learn body language and utilize it like really learn so you okay. know given a chance at home believe it or not uh, sometimes i'm like a <laughs> real jungly so when i'm at home you know how it is yeah yeah right <laughs> but now i am all <laughs> like the like the lady in the uh, uh, aircraft <laughs> you know but at home i am, but i know now um, <coughs> excuse me that i am you know on a show i am live people are watching me then my body language obviously right, changes right. but so can we learn like that and then utilize it to our benefit to our advantage is yes. it possible yes yes that? it's certainly possible that you learn it uh, but the problem arises when you try to fake it <coughs> so me. learning is good for example if you are learning uh, let's say how to smile some people I, i hate to say this but some people do not know how to smile right that's not a smile smile is when you genuinely feel the happiness and then your lips are spread right so some people when they are learning it has to be inculcated in their system itself then it is fine so people can absolutely learn body language but if they try to fake it then it screws everything up it just messes things up and a person becomes more fake right so anyway the purpose is not being solved so um, if a person knows that okay i have to use i have to use my hands while talking right so every time the person starts speaking they say anything you know hey you know that's not happening because it's not natural so it has to be learned in a very nice way it has to be told to the system my brain my body should know that oh hand gesture is a new thing i need to move my hands some people who are very expressive they move their hands a lot you included you are included in that so they move their hands a lot it helps us express 
right so we have not learnt learnt it we know that because we feel that acha when you use your hands then you can speak more better there's a lot of freedom yes yes so if i'm saying there's a lot of freedom it feels like someone is pushing something yes. down my throat and yes. saying don't talk anymore Correct. when i'm saying there's a lot of freedom right there is actually there is you know it allows you to express yourself like i was saying i, I had i was watching a few videos last week of, of mike boden and he says imagine speaking to people and you speak to them and you say you know they said you know that and he says if you're speaking the same words what if you put your hands behind hmm. your back hmm. and you say you know this and you know that hmm. and there is there is a major difference um uh this is another devansh uh, would do you want to read it uh, yeah uh, he says that will this live session be available to watch later on i want to save it so that i can keep taking notes definitely devansh we are going live but you can watch it on the goa 365 page on facebook yes and yes. we will be um uh, you know telecasting this program throughout the week quite often i don't know I also love Devansh do that smiley face is it a <laughs> winky winky are you winking at me okay. <laughs> I don't know I don't know I'm just asking I'm kidding but yeah um I want to say but yes any other any other questions but yes he's an amateur writer as well yes yes Devansh yes. over here this is another Devansh yes. we had two Devansh two Devansh who are speaking to us yes um can you add some more about what we i oh my goodness i forgot what we were speaking about like you know how body language can help us how we can learn yes. what are a few tricks uh to learn especially especially uh, if you're going for an interview right. i'm sure once the pandemic is over which i'm sure it's going to happen soon and i'm being optimistic and i know god is going to listen he's listening and also uh jobs will be you know available and people are going to go for interviews so what is the body language i should adopt i should inculcate actually rather than just adopt yeah. okay so uh, to connect it to the last point we were talking about uh, how to learn it right so if you read something where it, they say that you know moving your hands is a good gesture if by default you do not move your hands while talking then do not learn that do not force anything external that much if you do not smile by default it's totally fine probably you can smile a little bit but from when you are interacting with somebody who is very serious not smiling at all to <laughs> you know <laughs> do not become that person right so it has to be you and the best version of you right that's how we can learn next thing is uh, when we are talking about interview now uh, so there is this new uh, startup that has started right cognic you we we are doing remote in, uh, interviews there so people are recruiting other people through the remote interview setup so that is also one of the possibilities What of future what is this remote interview remote interview so as in you are scanning the candidates is it yes for example uh, somebody in goa they want to hire a person at work from home like on work from home remote based right and this candidate is let's say noida right no, this guy or this girl will never come to goa but they will always be working there right so we will take a remote interview so i will open my laptop i'll send them an interview link and the interview link will process the facial expressions and what are they saying we will rate them on confidence attention engagement a different kind of facial expressions and we will give the company a report that this is what the person is thinking or feeling right based on that they will make their own screening process probably to move to a different level or to not so this is what we are working on right now we already have a couple of clients but then uh, this is something which is going to be in future most of the people are comfortable working from the home right so when it is an interview that goes on the only thing i would want to say is you need to be yourself and you need to be the best version of yourself do not uh, we do not have to fake something because you can see it at some point yes, or the yes, other absolutely. you can that fake um, right. know, ingenuity actually comes across right 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 
doesn't it i mean I, I, that's what i know that's that totally correct and uh, another thing is for example if you want to learn body language okay i will not tell Are you, you giving me uh, some signal that yeah. <laughs> no no i said if i said okay. if if okay. Okay. so when i said uh, okay so <laughs> <laughs> when i said that okay if you want to learn body language and you tell hey kanan you know tell me something i said you know maria you do not need to know anything about it why because you already have met so many people and you have watched them for so many hours or months or weeks or years whatever you do not have to learn learn it right it is for people who do not have any idea on what to do they have not mingled around with a lot of people they have not interacted with a lot of people so uh i i'm very sure this must have happened tell me if it is true or not when you meet somebody after a while you feel eh, not that good or after you meet somebody you say ha i feel that that person is very honest or very good person do you feel that way all the time hmm. i'm it, always i'm always which is wrong <laughs> very judgmental <laughs> i'm always like really truly i'm always like mm, nice yes mm, not yes. nice yes. just by looking at them up and yes. down yes you know we women also do look at uh, men up and down sometimes <laughs> but uh, not in a bad way just in a good way <laughs> but, no yes. so that is why i will not tell you to learn anything because you already know a lot of things of this i think it's right. the interaction yes people. yes more, more interaction people correct you meet the better you get at correct, reading correct. body language isn't it yes and uh, another thing is uh, so meeting people comes up to a different level if you are very conscious about you know how do i interact and everything like that so what you can do is you can watch all the talk shows all this journalist Uh, on the tv news tedx yes yes so you see the more people you see the more you learn it's very simple it's directly proportional to the people you are seeing interacting see. yes, with yes, and, yes. and watching that's right you know kanan i mean i i would like to say this and i would like to tell the viewers as well that um, mona jain says uh, mona can i get back to your question um, in a moment um oh god i forgot you forgot what, what you had to, to say okay mona you win <laughs> i'm going to <laughs> i am going to um you know ask your question i have seen people shaking their legs continuously while talking what does it signify i have a very funny answer to it but i am not going to tell you that <laughs> but i'm very sure people would want to hear that also <laughs> oh, let, let okay So uh, uh Mona thank you so much for the question and uh, good that you brought this up we might uh, have left this thing uh, some people have this we call it idiosyncrasy in the body language field right there are certain people who have a certain behavior or certain gesture mm -hmm. probably I'll, I'll do always this okay it will dis it will be disturbing for you but I will do that all the time okay but i'm listening and having a conversation with you so some people who will shake their legs all the time while interacting it doesn't really signify anything it's just one of the behavior that they do sometimes uh, it's just similar to uh, we call it in hindi call as takya kalam i do not know how many of you have takya known kalam. takya kalam so some people takya is pillow kalam is pen yes so something that you use all the time while speaking uh, i will go there right i will eat there right so i will meet you there right so if you use the word right 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 it becomes your takya kala in english it's called idiosyncrasy oh, right. right so there are certain people who say you know you know you know all the time or you know if you have seen the movie like shole and all tambu laga ke or tambu khad ke jagdeep used to say all of that you know all those things are called as takya kala and uh, it is also very much applicable in the body language so people who shake their legs always that does not signify anything however if a person is interacting with you one on one and there are no movements and suddenly you see leg shaking then that means now the person is restless the person is bored the person wants to leave the conversation and wants to go but if it is all the time happening then it does not signify anything so we have lucky blaze lucky i'm still very fascinated by your name lucky blaze hmm. okay in a area shaking legs i don't know where you live lucky <laughs> i think uh, again uh, because i've studied a little bit of uh, behavior yes. i think this is coming from uh, madhya pradesh he says you are not an obedient child if you're shaking yes your legs, yes you're a bad is, child if you're a bad child i'm so glad i am not in madhya pradesh <laughs> because i would be a terrible child <laughs> 
right. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, th these are also the behavior. I was telling you, right, in certain community like our community, if a woman smiles or laughs a lot, she will not be considered a nice woman, right? right? right. Or in uh, Odisha, if you use your left hand, you will not be considered a good person. You will be an evil person, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, and I, by default, I'm a lefty person, right? But now my mom is watching, so I can tell her they forced me to become a right-handed person oh because because yeah. the state does not say anything. So if you become a left-handed person, you will be considered evil. So if you go to Odisha or you know Bengal, and if you give something from the left hand, they do not even exchange money with the left hand. They use it with the right hand mm. because right is the right hand. You know, right, right, right hand. In fact, you know, Kanan, I mean, just yes, yes, uh, sure, a sure. Extra information. Sure, sure. The right hand and the left hand in uh, French uh, have uh, words which basically is, uh, you know, it's rather degrading that if you, for the left hand, I think it is uh, gauche or something like yes, that. Yes, gauche. Yes, 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 yes. So, which basically means when someone is very gauche, it's like, you know, not yes, very... Yes, sinister. Yes, yes, very sinister. There's no finesse. Right. Which is so sad. Yes. I know some amazing left-handed people and I think I'm more fascinated because the way they use their left hand <laughs> more than anything else. So uh, we just have, I think, about two minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Mike the Souza says, the pick up Padukone and the woman on the right <laughs> look very... S Whoa! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Mike the Souza. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have heard yes. that by the way, I have heard that before. Yes. I do not know from which angle do I look similar, but thank you so much for that. I think that's <laughs> so sweet, Mike. I mean, that's mm -hmm. really sweet to give her a compliment like that, you know. And um, so any, any uh, negative uh, body language that we should stay away from all the time? Uh, yes. Uh, and before that, Savio has a question. Oh, Savio again? Yeah, I think that's the last question we'll be taking. Can body language be learned or is it just based on instinct? I think, Savio, we have uh, covered that question. Yes. You know, uh, about it can be learned, but then it should never appear as uh, put on. Right. Because then uh, it, the whole everything you've learned falls flat on its face and right. it's like, fat. And in Kokani, we say, what check, what score, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not going to work. But I think there are a lot of benefits of learning um, body language. Do you want to take another question? Okay, it's time up. No, we do not have any more time for any questions. I know um, I have, I mean, the one hour has passed so quickly. I have learned so much. Maria, one more. Sorry, sorry for interruption. Yes. The thing that you asked, I would like to address that. Yes, that what is the one negative thing yes, we should yes, be avoiding? Yes. We should be avoiding from the fake smile. <laughs> to fake a smile is something we should not be doing. We should always be natural. So people behind the camera, they are also smiling. And you know, people outside the room also are smiling. The, the smile has to be genuine. That's the one thing which connects people from heart to heart. Very important. So, you know, you do not need a sixth sense to identify if a, a, a person is faking a smile or is actually right. genuinely smiling. So, that's the one thing I would say. so much I've learned <laughs> and I've got so many compliments from her. Oh my goodness, I, I wish we could have this show for the for the next two, three hours. Uh, for the compliments or uh, for the for, questions? For, <laughs> for answering all the questions. I'm sure viewers, you have learned a lot as well. We are always looking out and, you know, we always open to your suggestions, to your recommendations. If there are, you know, resource people that you know of and who you think that uh, would like to be on our show and we all can benefit. Of course, the decision is up to us, <laughs> but please do let us know. Give us your comments, send us your feedback. We love hearing from you. And we are nearing our 100th um, uh, workshop event in the next uh, few months. Wow. Yes. Wow. I know. So excited. Wow. Um, another 10 actually, but 90 already. So thank you for everything. All of you guys, you all have been absolutely awesome. We wouldn't have been able to do it. So another 10 more and we should be there. And it's people like Kanan who make all our workshops and, you know, all our talks so interesting. Thank you. And until next time, do take care of yourself. And if I'm wobbling my head, do forgive me. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Thanks. Thank you.